Much. Very soon, race fans will be streaming into Churchill Downs for opening day of the spring meet. Gates open up at 5 tomorrow night. Post time tomorrow night is going to be at 6 p.m., but fans are going to see for the first time a head-spinning series of big changes. Alexis Jones takes us to Churchill for a look at the last-minute scramble. Busy is an understatement here at Churchill Downs. Crews have been riding around all day, getting ready for thousands to walk through the gates. We're always going to be ready. We've got a great team here at Churchill Downs that is used to getting ready for these big events and the big crowds. Spokesperson Darren Rogers says they will be prepping up until the last minute of opening night. Friday, more than a thousand employees cleaned, hung up signs, and paved the racetrack ahead of Derby. We want every inch of this place looked upon cared for, ready to showcase. Groups also spread flowers around for decoration and to honor late horses. That includes Wild on Ice, who was euthanized this week after suffering an injury. Rogers adds they're most excited to debut the new paddock, where employees put finishing touches for guests and horses. You know, the paddock's the heartbeat of any racetrack uh, across the country. We've got 138,000 square feet this year. Uh, for people to congregate, so it's a it's a, it's a dynamite spot. That he says you don't want to miss this year. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHS 11, on your side. And again, the opening of the spring meet for Churchill Downs is a Saturday night affair. First post time once again is at 6 p.m. By the way, tickets are still available on the Churchill Downs website. A general admission ticket to the track costs you $24. Now let's look ahead to some of the great Kentucky Derby Festival events coming our way. Ellen's Great Balloon Glow is tonight at 8. That's at Waterfront Park. The Great Balloon Race lifts off Saturday morning at 7 at Bowman Field. The Pegasus Parade hits the streets on Sunday the 30th at 3 o'clock. Again, switch to Sunday. Heading into Derby Week, we have the Great Bed Races on the 1st. The Great Steamboat Race is on Wednesday, May 3rd. All before the festivities hit Churchill Downs once again for the Kentucky Oaks and the Kentucky Derby. More local news here tonight at 5. Drivers using Bardstown Road in the highlands of Louisville might have noticed some new lane markings. And this week we heard your concerns about oncoming traffic being directed into each other at Bardstown Road and Highland Avenue. So we contacted the Transportation Cabinet in Kentucky for answers. They told us that they are in the process of applying new pavement markers. They say the temperature must be above 50 degrees to do this to install the thermoplastic paint. So cool temperatures have made for a slow installation process. To help drivers in the meantime, they have installed temporary markings there along Bardstown Road and Highland Avenue. We are told that you can expect to see new stop bars, crosswalks, and more turn arrows in the coming weeks. And this just into the newsroom, the final barge stuck in the McAlpin Dam has been removed. Now the dam is clear of any heavy salvage equipment. The last barge was full of corn and it had been stranded at the dam for a full month since March 28th. Officials have been monitoring the air and water quality since a barge with methanol also got stuck right there. That one was removed earlier this month on April 7th. The Coast Guard confirms that investigation is still underway. JCPS says a student at Louisville's Iroquois High School brought a gun to school today. According to a letter sent home to parents, a student told staff members about seeing another student with a possible gun. The school district says they followed their protocol and involved JCPS police. They say they did find a gun in the student's possession, but JCPS says it was never used in a threatening manner. The student will be disciplined according to the JCPS student handbook. Last night, Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg presented his first spending plan for Louisville to Metro Council, directing more money to police and hoping to lure a grocery store downtown. Now, those are just some of his plans, but his top priority remains safety. The mayor's first budget proposal getting high praise from both sides of the aisle. That was hands down the best initial proposed budget I have ever seen uh, from a mayor in this city. Republican Anthony Piagentini is speaking there. Mayor Greenberg wants to create a new Department of Group Violence Intervention, a $230,000 investment, another half a million dollar aims to expand the city's 911 mental health deflection program. He's also proposing a $222 million backing for LMPD, a 2% increase over last year. Among other things, it'll bring roughly 30 new positions to the department to help implement reforms laid out in the DOJ report. The money will also fund more license plate readers and traffic cameras to metro streets. This is how we become a safer, stronger, and healthier city. That's what all the investments in my budget are designed to do. Beyond public safety, the budget contains many new initiatives. Greenberg set aside $27 million to 
fight Louisville's growing homeless crisis. The, hom the homeless population grew 140% just last year. Greenberg's also throwing in $6 million worth of subsidies, subsidies aimed at enticing a grocery store to downtown, and he also plans to create Louisville's own Department of Transportation. Today, Isaiah Kim Martinez has been looking closely at a potential new investment into Metro Police and how that money would be spent. Isaiah, what did you find? I'll show you the mayor's budget proposes taking $2.3 million and putting it directly toward LMPD reforms. Greenberg saying they're not going to be waiting for the consent decree to take action. You might remember those 36 remedial changes recommended by the DOJ. That was early last month. Now the mayor says he's following their guidance with plans to add more than 30 positions to the police department that he believes will help. They include several new training jobs at the police academy, civilian investigators to assist sworn officers within the homicide unit, and spe a specialist specifically assigned to review search warrants. The search warrant process has been a major point of contention since Breonna Taylor's death. Many of the problems of the past identified in the DOJ report could have been prevented with an enhanced approach to training. That's an approach the chief and I are committed to implementing now. And these new positions would be just a small fraction of the total proposed budget for LMPD, which is more than $220 million. But the long-term impacts could be significant here. Of course, the mayor's budget has a long way to go before final approval by Metro Council. There are multiple hearings through the month of May and chances to get community feedback. Council members' final vote here is set for June 22nd. Shay, Doug. All right, Isaiah, thank you very much. Well, also last night, Louisville Metro Police and the families of crime victims came together, remembering those lost in our community due to violence. That event at Waterfront Park serving as a chance to reflect, but also share resources with families who may need them. Louisville Metro Police created the event to honor victims and their families who use the special services offered through their special victims unit. Many of those in attendance last night spoke highly of the employees who work in the victims unit, helping them through a time of grief and understanding what they're going through. I didn't even know who she was. She was like, hey, Michelle, I'm and I'm bawling my eyes out. She would just sit there and listen to me. Overjoyed that the police department, the mayor, and everybody would just come out and just know what we're going through. Last night at the event, Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg said his administration will continue to work with the victim services team to ensure victims and their families have support and resources that they need.